What's going on? You're getting a thumb today. You know, I give you the heavy metal horn, so I give you the, the thumbs up or whatever I want to do, whenever I feel like doing that. I can just do whatever I want on here. Uh, and that's why we're doing some theocracy today. Uh, this is for Lisa. Lisa says you got to do the song As the World Bleeds. Uh, and I think that is from the album As the World Bleeds, and it is from the 2011 record. And uh, we're going to listen to that song right here, right now for Lisa. Does that sound good? We've done Theocracy before. I want to say we did I Am, but I could be wrong about that. So you can get in the comments and tell me, Shane, you're wrong, you didn't do that. But uh, we're going to do As the World Bleeds for Lisa here today. Uh, so let's learn about Theocracy, and then we're going to listen to the song. Uh, does that sound like a fun idea? Let's do it right now. Uh, Theocracy, they have 28,694 monthly listeners to the Spotify account. Top five jams, three of them jammies come from that album right there, As the World Bleeds. In the number one slot, I am. I am. Dull parts. No, that's not it. Uh, 1.9 million plays for that song. Uh, different record, Laying the Demon to Rest, 561,000 plays. Uh, then back to this record here as the world bleeds with the master storyteller 873,000 plays you got nailed 694,000 plays and then to a different record ghost ship and that's got 70 766,000 plays now we're gonna since I mentioned that as the world uh, bleeds album we're going to look into the albums and see what this band's released looks as though they would have started around the 2008 times with mirror of souls then you've got the 2011 record, As the World Bleeds, and then you've got 2013's Theocracy and 2016's Ghost Ship, and then that's it. So are they on a hiatus? They haven't put out any singles or done anything. Have they called it a day? Adieu? Have they said goodbye? Or are they just taking a little break -si doodle uh, Now we're going to look into the related artists. Uh, I want to say that these guys are a Christian metal band, uh, but I can't remember for, for actual sure. Uh, we're going to get into it. Maybe these related artists will give us an idea. 7th Avenue. Uh, there's Narnia. We haven't done any Narnia, but uh, we we, I, we probably should at some point. Uh, Divine Fire. You got Rob Rock. I don't know who, who's Rob Rock. Someone get in the comments and tell me Rob Rock. Um, Audio Vision. You got Sin Breed. You got Golden Resurrection. You got Scandinavian Metal Praise. Um, weird name for a band, Scandinavian Metal Praise. Uh, Inner Wish. There we go. Here's some here's some ones. Blood Good. We've done a lot of Blood Good on this channel. Baron Cross. Yep, we've done Baron Cross. Tourniquet. Yep, we've done Tourniquet. So there's that. Uh, now we're going to get into that bio and see what this band has done. Uh, throughout, you know, see what they're what they would get, what they've got to say for themselves. Really, uh, I'm trying to find it again. Spotify's goofed this whole thing up, and you got the fellas here, and they've got that skyline behind them. And I remember this guy in his beautiful satin red shirt, and he's and they're saying, Shane, get up here on this building, and we swear we're not going to push you off. Just get up here, play hacky sack with us. But if the sack goes over the side, you're going down to get it. Theocracy started life as a one-man project by Matt Smith in Athens, Georgia. Though their style has more in common with their European contemporaries than with most of the U.S. counterparts, characterized by huge choruses, epic arrangements, and progressive elements, the, uh, Theocracy's music is both immediate and deep, managing to be instantly catchy and memorable, yet revealing new levels of intricacy and depth with each subsequent listen. Oh, so this is the kind of band you listen to the record all the way through and you listen very carefully. Theocracy has done several European headline tours, played festivals and shows around the world and supported bands like Blind Guardian, whom we have just did, I believe. No, we're doing, coming up this week, and Sonata Artica. As the World Bleeds hit the Billboard Heat Seeker chart at number 40 in the U.S. and the follow-up Ghost Ship entered the Billboard Hard Rock chart at 19. The Billboard Heat Seeker chart at number 7 and the Billboard Independent Album chart at number 44. Um, so there you have that. They haven't done anything since Ghost Ship. So what's going on there, guys? Do you know? Do you know anything about it? For Lisa, it is that time. We're getting into the song. As the world bleeds. Um, 
We're going to do that right now. Where is it at? Oh, it's the last track. So it's probably some epic little number, right? This is the titty takes us into the world. Takes us into the world of uh, uh, theocracy in the song, As the World Bleeds. Let's do that right here, right now. Why do we only call your name when there's no one else to call? Is this going to get epic? or? And we only really seek you when our mighty towers fall. Do you end the record with the ballad? Turned your eyes away when we're only sleeping in the bed we made. Only sleeping in the bed we made. Why do we call for free will, but reject all consequence? Why is the path we made to heaven stained with the blood of innocence? Why do we ignore the warnings that we've read and all? Oh. Is masquerading as the angel of the light? Hey, there we go. Great voice. There we go, that's not bad. That's the world's bleeding. I like that guitar riff. You know what's great too is you can hear everything. It's a perfect mix. You can hear that bass and everything. It's got a little splash of Halloween in it. Power meddling, progressive, triumphant, uplifting, and major chords. I love how they've ramped this whole thing up. It just keeps getting more and more and more intense as it goes along. Gives you a chance to breathe in it.
One thing's for sure is they never run out of riffs, do they? Crescendo? We're only sleeping in the bed we made. Yeah, he's he's got a good voice and uh, pretty solid band. Blood on our hands. Piano bit. That was an epic tune. Took it right up from the, the, the very mellow, melodic vocal beginning to the very end of the record. Saying, we got blood on our hands. We got, we got blood on our hands. What's this? What's popping on here? Uh, Bloodbound for the king because the record ended so it just found another band to pop up so Bloodbound for the King just started playing there. Yes and Didi, yes and Didi. I need you and Lisa and everyone to get in the comments below and tell me everything you know about Theocracy and the, and the, and the album As the World Bleeds or any uh, Theocracy goodies that you may want to give to me. Good, great, fantastic. Shane Theocracy is my favorite band of all time. We've had a lot of people that, that get in the comments and say you got to do more Theocracy. Um, yeah, so we're, we're getting around to it, right? We're doing it. Um, all-time favorite album and all-time favorite songs from this band. If you could pick one record and put it, take it on a, on a silver cloud with you, what would it be? You had your harp, you got your halo, and you got one Theocracy record. What is it going to be that you're going to be listening to? Uh, have you ever seen this band live? Do you know Matt Smith? Can you say hello for me? Um, all-time favorite songs and favorite records from the band, and I would love to know what a Theocracy concert was like if you were lucky enough to see them live. What's going on? Is he still doing music? Is he planning to put something new out? Has he put the, bed, the, 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 the band to bed for a while on a hiatus or quit completely? Let's get down there and figure that all out. Or you could say, not good, not great, Shane. It was powerful. It was triumphant. It was uplifting. It was all the things that I don't like in music. I listen to bands like Revenge and Bohemoth 
and uh, you know, I listen to like extreme metal and stuff, so I don't like the uplifting kind of power metal-esque kind of style of stuff. I like to listen to that heavy, dark, t dark, doomy, gloomy, gritty, grindy stuff. So not my cup of tea, don't want it. Now I give you all the credit in the world, these guys are good. They're clearly talented in the, in the genre and styles that they like to do, but it's not my cup of tea, so don't want it, don't need it, I'm out of here. All of that can be put in the comments below for Lisa, for me, and for everybody else, so we can learn more about theocracy. If you have a hard rock or a heavy metal special request you'd like to see it on this channel right here right now all you've got to do is click one of them links in the description below we'll get it on for you in your honor with thumbsy upsies to you or you could always put it in the comments if you put your request in the comments i see it i like it there's a couple of things here if i see it i like it and we haven't done it on the channel already then i may just hit you with a heart and say i'm going to do your request for you okay that's all i swing it out lisa there's your thumbs here we go Mm-hmm.